Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on implementing Microsoft UET Consent Mode using Cookie Yes. By default, Microsoft UET Consent Mode is turned on in Cookie Yes. But if you've switched it off, turning it back on is easy. Just log in to your Cookie Yes account, head to Dashboard, then Advanced Settings, and scroll down to the Microsoft Consent Mode and Clarity API section. Then simply toggle the switch next to Support Microsoft UET Consent Mode and you're all set. With Cookie Yes, you can control when UET loads based on user preferences. This ensures that tracking happens only when it's legally and ethically appropriate. There are two ways to implement this. Using Google Tag Manager, ideal if you manage your website tags through GTM. Using a custom script, a direct approach if you prefer adding a script manually to your website. Now, let's break down both methods step by step. Method 1. Implementing UET via Google Tag Manager. If your website uses GTM, you'll need to configure UET to fire only after users have granted consent. Here's how to do it. Step 1. Place the GTM script correctly. Ensure the Google Tag Manager script is placed after the CookieS script in your website's head section. This ensures that CookieS processes user consent before GTM fires any tracking scripts. Step 2. Create a consent-based variable. In your Google Tag Manager dashboard, go to Variables, User Defined Variables, New. Click Variable Configuration and select First Party Cookie. Enter the Cookie Yes Consent cookie name. Example, Cookie Yes hyphen consent. Name the variable, for example, Advertisement Consent, and click Save. Step 3. Set up a custom trigger for UET. Go to Triggers, New, Trigger Configuration. Choose Custom Event as the trigger type. In the Event Name field, enter cookie underscore consent underscore update. And there, under this trigger fires on, choose some custom events. Enable Regex Matching and configure the trigger conditions. Set it to fire only when AID consent is granted. So here enter, Advertisement colon yes. Name the trigger, example, Custom UET Trigger, and save it. Step 4. Link the trigger to the UET tag. Navigate to Tags to create a new tag in Google Tag Manager by clicking on Tags in the left sidebar, then New. Click on Tag Configuration and search for the Microsoft Advertising Universal Event Tracking in the Community Template Gallery. Add the appropriate UET tag ID under Triggering Select the custom UET trigger you created. Click Save. Step 5. Publish your changes. Click Submit in GTM, and then Publish to make the updates live on your website. Now, your UET script will only fire after a user consents to add tracking. Method 2. Implementing UET via a custom script. If you're not using GTM, you can directly control UET execution with a custom script. This ensures that tracking only happens when consent is granted. Before using this method, make sure you remove any existing UET tag from your website's head section. This prevents the script from loading before consent is granted. Let's see how this method works step by step. Step 1. Add the custom script. Copy the following script and paste it below the Cookie Yes script in your website's head section. Step 2. Insert the UET script properly. Log into Microsoft Advertising. Go to Conversions, UET tag, and retrieve your UET script. Inside the Initialize UET function, paste the script without the script tags. This ensures the script runs only when the user gives consent. Once implemented, this script will dynamically load UET based on user preferences, keeping your website compliant and user-friendly. Ensuring compliance with privacy laws is crucial when using tracking technologies like Microsoft UET. If you're using Google Tag Manager, configure UET to fire only after consent. If you prefer manual integration, use the custom script method. By following these steps, 
you can effectively track conversions while respecting user privacy, building trust, and maintaining compliance. Try CookieS CMP for free and comply with major privacy laws.